All right. It's been a little more than two weeks since I posted my first video of getting my AK. And I've done a little more upgrades to it. So first things first, I got uh, M-Log AFG here. Um, originally I tried tried it down here because I figured I'd want to have more of a, a choked up grip. But you can already feel the strain, or at least I can already feel the strain in my wrist right here. If I'm holding it like this. So it's a lot more comfortable way up here. So I think there's... There's definitely something to the whole, like, scorpion grip thing that you always hear modern shooters talking about. Um, and you definitely feel like you have more, more control up here. Um, and the best part is there's just enough gap right here. I can fit my tiny little baby index fingers in there and, you know, thumb over here. So I have total... Total barrel control there. Um, or at least as much as a fat weakling like me could have. Um, what else do we got? Okay, uh, I also replaced the Magpul MOE grip core with one of these battery cores. Um, got two AAAs in there right now. Um, don't really have any need for them yet, um, but I do plan on... At some point, not probably anytime soon, um, getting a, a sight mount here, and I'm going to get some kind of red dot. I'm really not sure what kind of red dot I want to go with. Um, I'm leaning towards... <sighs> See, it's, it's, it's hard, because, like, I want, like, a, a cheaper one. So, like, somewhere, like, $200 range. Um, I'm thinking maybe primary arms, or vortex, or... Um, I don't know, maybe Hollow Sun. Uh, I've been, I've been looking at a few, but they all seem so similar. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the, I think I'm going to go with the Vortex Spark, because it takes AAA, and that's kind of the reasoning why I got this, the battery core there. Um, because I mean, if, if you've got a fucking red dot that takes AAAs, you're fucking set. Like, you do not have to worry about fucking finding batteries for that damn thing. Like, triple A's are everywhere. You know, you could fucking, like, we're talking fucking shit hits the fan kind of, like, scenario here. But, like, if you're, like, fucking just kicking in doors and, like, scavenging and looting or whatever, fucking a TV remote. TV remote, triple A, you're good. You're good to go. Fucking send it. <laughs> right? Okay, um, so what else have I done? I think the, yeah, you know, it felt like I got so much more, but I think it was mostly ammo. It was all fucking ammo, and I got another, uh, got another Gen 3 P mag with the steel lips. So I'm sitting at three mags now, which I need more, but whatever. Taking it shooting twice. This thing is butter smooth. Um, I'm a little, a little upset with the the recoil spring, I guess is what you would call it. Because that's kind of stiff. That's really kind of stiff. I'm weak. I'm real weak. Not going to like mince words with that. But I don't know, dry fire, whatever. But, um, but I feel like I feel like it shouldn't be that, that stiff. Because I mean, it's an AK, right? So... I'm going to pop into the gun shop here next week and pick up a, one of those AFG recoil springs. I've heard those are really stiff too, but I can't imagine it's this bad. Um, anywho, only other thing I got is this recoil pad here, this enhanced recoil pad. Um, a little bit of a complaint here. It fits great. It looks great. However, there's this tiniest of hairline gaps right here. 
that's kind of part of why I'm making this video, because, like, normally, like, who cares, you know, like, it's just another fucking dumb kid with his gun video, but I don't see a lot of videos on YouTube about this particular buttstock, because there's not a lot of people that care to buy an enhanced buttstock for an AK. Eh, it's neither here nor there, but if you're looking in the market for getting one of these, these enhanced SL, I think is what they're called, the SL Zukov, you can see right there, you can almost see the light shining through that gap right there. So that's kind of, kind of bothersome. I'm guessing it's it's purely aesthetic, really. You know, like, it's just for looks. Because I can't imagine there being any real problem to that. But it feels good. It feels really good. Um, I've seen a lot of people say that it's, it's not as soft as they would like. But, I mean, it's just rubber. And you don't want it to be too soft. Because... I mean, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but, like, you're gonna have to rifle check shit, right? I mean, I guess you're not gonna have to, but, like, that's part of why you want a solid, stiff rifle stock, you know? You want to be able to just fucking, uh, right? I mean, not like that. That's bad posture. You'd, you'd want to, I don't know. I, I need to practice rifle, rifle stock checking form. I don't know. I'm sure there's a martial arts for it or some shit like that, right? Um, anywho, but yeah, no, uh, loving this thing so far. Um, no complaints. Mind you, I'm a fucking idiot, and I've never owned a real rifle before, so, uh, it's a very real possibility I still haven't found anything wrong with it, because I just haven't, I don't know what to look for, or I'm not looking hard enough, I guess, but... No, this uh, thing's great. I love it. Shoots butter smooth. Um, I've only shot two mags through it so far, so 60 rounds, give or take. 61, I think. But, yeah, it's it's real nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I'll uh, update the next time I get some more fucking parts for it, which should be here next week. Um... My wife went into the store today. I had to work overtime. But uh, she went into the store today and showed them pictures of uh, the same products that I told her I wanted. Which was, I wanted a, a cheek riser here. A uh, three quarter inch cheek riser. And I wanted a um, pack of ranger plates for my, for my Femax. And she, um, she showed them the pictures, showed them to the descriptions, which all said, you know, 762 by 39 and AK. And they gave me 556 five, Ranger plates and a, um, CLR, uh, cheek, cheek rest. So I have the receipt. I'm going to go in Tuesday when they open and check on all that but i think that's pretty much it um for this video kind of just dragging on now uh yeah so everything's working out so far um it's it's really nice being a real gun owner i've noticed like i feel like my mood has changed a lot which is something really weird to say, like, just for the, like, psychological effect of, like, owning a real rifle. Um, I can't imagine that works on everyone, but, like, I... <sighs> sounds so fucking stupid. I literally feel happier. Like, I just feel happier owning a combat rifle. Like, knowing that, like, you know, eh, if I wanna, you know, if I need to, if I need to fucking get in the shit, I can get in the shit, you know, I'm like, I'm not trained, I'm not in shape, but, like, I've got a fighting fucking chance, right, that's all you can really ask for, um, I do plan on doing some kind of training, like, drills, probably not gonna take any classes, not 
in the foreseeable future anyways. Because it's going to be really fucking expensive. But, you know, maybe... Fingers crossed, dream sequence. Someday, maybe I'll get out to Arizona and take one of Jim Fuller's classes. Uh, I've heard that one of his classes, I think the Build Workshop, um, you pay like $2,000 for the class, but you get to build your own fucking rifle. And like, that right there is like, kind of the cheapest way to get a rifle dynamics rifle. And those are not like, those are not cheap. Like, those are good fucking quality AKs. Um, or at least everyone says they are. I don't know. I haven't touched one, so. Um, but yeah, Century Arms gets a lot of shit. Um, as someone who never had to experience any of their shitty products while they were shitty, this thing feels alright. Uh, I'm not, I have no complaints. I mean, other than the fact that it's, it's a little heavy because it's got a milled receiver, but... It's probably, like, the cheapest fucking price you can pay for a milled receiver, you know? Like, fucking MSRP is, like, eight fifty on this, right? Probably even cheaper for some places. I didn't pay that. I paid way more, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good fucking price to get a fucking milled receiver. You know, this isn't stamped. This is fucking milled. This thing is one solid chunk of steel. Right? I mean, milled from one stuff. You know what I mean. Anywho, I'm just fucking rambling at this point. Um, yeah. Anywho. I will catch you all next time.